go for the shielded at a better price. That's what I did. That's why I mentioned do your homework, shop around, look at what's out there. That's why I mentioned Cat 5e, Cat 6, Cat 7, and I believe Cat 8 is possibly rolling into a standard. Once you see stuff out there that's rated Cat 8, you know, rolled back to Cat 5e, interchangeable, all this type of stuff, all these talks. And you go online, you see somebody selling it for a real low price, might be worth jumping on some. Because nobody's buying it because it's not the standard everybody's using right now. So the price is low to try to get people into that. So this is one of the factors that I brought up with this. Um, mesh networks. A lot of mesh networks when they came out, they were fairly low priced. Then all of a sudden you'd see them go way up in price and now they're way back down. The reason why they're way back down, Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6, they're pushing that. But Wi-Fi 6 was a very expensive technology that came out way up here. And it's slowly drifting back down. I would imagine here, probably within the next two or three years, you're going to see the Wi-Fi 6 slowly drift down and then it's going to go, Why is it going to go way back up? Because you're going to have your TVs, your phones, everybody's starting to adopt this technology. Well, supply and demand is another term that's out there. The demand will go up for it. The cost will go up for it. So that's just one of the factors that is out there, especially with stuff like this. Uh, you'll see a lot of stuff like I have in there, uh, a video already on this for the RV. It's basically a repeater. Check out that review. It's the RV standard of this. Except for for this, you'd have to put it on a shelf, you'd have to secure it, you'd have to run wiring, you'd have, that's all pre-done, it just snaps in. So there's stuff out there. There's, I want to make sure people are aware of this. Um, you can go into some of these big box stores, they're going to try to sell you on Wi-Fi 6 and this and that. And, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. A lot of these places, a lot of these shops nowadays, they don't know what they're doing. I'm just going to be bold on it. So, goes back to do your homework. I don't want you to spend a lot of money on stuff you don't need. That's what these videos are about. It's about educating you on what's out there. But it's also about educating you on what not to do. Um... Like right now, all the cabling, everybody's running this Cat 5e. Yes, it's rated for a lot better speeds, a lot better stuff than most people are doing. But you have Cat 6 out now. Cat 6 actually has an inner liner in between that separates the pairs. Cuts down on crosstalk. It actually, from the little bit of testing that I've done from before when it first came out, I noticed huge, huge improvements between Cat 5e and Cat 6. Just doing connectivity tests. Cat 5e tests would be the results would be like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Cat 6, it was a standard straight across the board. No variable. If you did, it was very minimum. So why? Would you want to run something that you know there's better out there and that wasn't shielded now you can get cat 6 shielded cat 7 shielded that cuts down on any kind of interference coming in that cuts down on a lot of things so these are factors I want to point out most 
routers nowadays will take shielded cable. That's one of the factors you want to look at if you're buying a brand new one. Most of them will have the little, this one, that's a metal plate, metal pin in here, that presses in. That's what actually touches the shielding on the wiring. Metal, put it in here, pushes against the metal here. That's what makes the connection to ground this. These are just some factors I wanted to point out. These are terms you're going to be hearing when I do more of these videos. This is going to be kind of really crucial, crucial information that you need to know when you look for this stuff. Um, I think I'm going to stop this video here, start getting into the series, more of this stuff. Um, again, hit subscribe, hit the bell, get all the updates. Like I said before, there's going to be a lot of information coming on this channel. There's going to be a lot of videos, a lot of data, a lot of stuff that can help the IT professionals and the home users, even gamers. There's stuff here for you. There's networking stuff. There's other data here for you. Um, I think that's where I want to end this. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you tell everybody about my channel. Get these subscriptions up. Get video watching up. Let's get the word out there so people out there can know where to go to get information. If you want to leave a comment down below, if you're looking for information, I'll let you know. I can direct you to some others. But make sure you hit the subscribe. Thank you.